Hey guys, it's Joe from Joe's Movies. Today, back with an homage to three months ago. So, longtime fans of this channel may remember that I did a video called, um, I think it was, uh, <coughs> uh, What Can You Do on the Wii in 2020? And that video is one of my, like, most viewed videos. So, uh, like, from that time period. So, <coughs> we're back with a vengeance for what can you do on the 3DS 2020. Obviously, I got the new Nintendo 3DS here. Got Link Between Worlds going. I do have the 3D on, so it'll look weird for you. Got the C-Stick and all that. <coughs> Along with, I believe I have it going, a uh, consistent capture method. So I can move around here. So the first thing we're going to check out is health and safety information. <coughs> Nintendo 3DS is a killer app. Oh, there's three parts into warnings. <laughs> I guess warnings are really... Uh, uh, the 3D feature is only for children 7 and over. Ah, nice. Now I can just tell uh, my cousin Trip or uh, my cousin Ellie, no, you cannot use the 3DS because you can uh, not use the 3D feature and your I have it turned on. <clears throat> uh, what I wonder is why can people under 6 not use the... 3D feature. It says it may cause vision damage, but uh, I want, I'm uh, intrigued like with more information about this vision damage. Uh, I can't do the air quotes because I have to hold the system in one. Well, maybe I could do like vision damage. I guess that could work. <clears throat> but I want to like know like how if like do a study of like children six and under and give like one group like a 2DS or a new 2DS and then like so one child like one of the 3DS's and then let them know like I, I want to see a study of that like how, how exactly does vision damage like happen with the 3D feature for uh, children under 7 uh, <clears throat> but uh, luckily I, I don't I don't really have vision damage because um, I find that uh, if you're over seven, uh, the 3D feature uh, does look pretty, uh, actually pretty good in a lot of games. Uh, obviously here in health and safety information, it doesn't really look that impressive. Uh, what's uh, ice strain and motion sickness? <clears throat> Playing video games can result in ice strain after a same period of time or perhaps sooner if using the 3D feature. Avoid excessive play. Take a 10 to 15 hour break. Minute break every hour or every half hour when using the 3, 3D feature. Yep. Sorry, speedrunners. Um, if you guys are playing with the 3D feature, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, all 3DS game speedrunners, but you guys are going to have to take a 10 to 15 minute break every hour during your full playthrough stream and be like, Oh, this is my break. <laughs> or every half hour with the 3D, which honestly doesn't make much sense. Like, oh, and by the way, if you turn the, like, 3D feature down, it, like, turns it down dynamically, and it just goes, like, it goes into the screen, and then it, like, goes out of the screen. You can see in, like, the footage, you can, uh, over there, uh, you can see that, um, when I slowly turn the 3D feature up, it moves, like, right a little bit because it has to display two images and then it moves like left a little bit when I turn it down uh, as you can see there it moves right left right uh, <clears throat> continue to have any of the symptoms stop playing or see a doctor oh and um, that reminds me about the 3d um, it it doesn't like if you're focused on like the bottom screen for whatever reason for like a uh, a game that utilizes it you're not like it doesn't like you can still like kind of see the 3d uh it, it's a kind of a bit monotonous to like pay attention to the 3d while also like in this but it, it's definitely possible i've done it and it 
doesn't look half bad when you're looking down here. It doesn't like give you the double image. Um, back to the health and safety though. Uh, battery leakage, rechargeable lithium ion battery pack. The leakage of ingredients contained within the battery pack or the combustion of those ingredients can cause personal injury as well as damage to the system. Avoid contact with skin. Do not expose battery to excessive physical shock. Do not expose the battery pack to fire. Do not put the battery of. Uh, do not peel or damage the battery label. Note that the battery of the new Nintendo 2DS XL system cannot be removed. What? It, it, you're kidding me! What if you need to replace the battery? Uh, on the, I mean, I have the new 3DS XL because well, I like the 3D. But uh, if you had the new 2DS XL and and like the battery like literally like runs out of storing power. Sorry, dude, you're gonna buy a whole new 2DS, dude. You you're like, be just be all because Nintendo thought, hey, the new Nintendo 2DS XL, the last 3DS. Let's make it so you can't remove the battery. Yeah. And so you have to buy a whole new system whenever you lo uh, the battery drains. That should uh, make sales go way higher, right? And they didn't. Probably because the Switch was on the way, but who knows? This could have probably been the... Um, th this probably could have been a reason why the uh, new 2DS XL didn't really sell that well. Most people think because the Switch, but I think it was because you can't remove the battery. That's the reason that the new 2DS XL didn't sell. You can't remove the battery. And I'm going to move my camera down here. But you can't remove the battery. Luckily, you still can on the new two, uh, 3DS. Uh, and this is really nice uh, with the new 3DS because you, uh, I always, I have a hacked 3DS. And I get, like, bricks all the time. My system gets, like, bricked a ton. But like it's a not like it's like a syst it's like a software brick, so I just have to like remove the battery. But if you get like a new 2DS XL, you gotta wait like upwards of five minutes before this thing like reboots. If you can't like press a button to reboot, it's like stuck on that screen for like so long. All right. <clears throat> if you have a pacemaker or other implanted medical device, <clears throat> do not operate the system within nine inches of a. Peacemaker while using the wireless feature. Um, yeah, all you all you people using pacemakers out there, I'm sorry, but we will not be able to play 3ds wireless together, or switch wireless, or any other kind of wireless. Uh, I wonder if you could like do switch wireless within a nine inches of a pacemaker. If you were like, there was like this game where you have to like hold the 3ds up to like your like wherever a pacemaker is. You're like. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> That's the last time I play online in this heart pounding game. <laughs> that, would, that would honestly be like really funny if somebody made like a video doing everything that this set thing said not to do and seeing what the consequences is. <clears throat> uh, observe and follow all regulations or rules regarding more hospitals, airports, and aircraft, malfunction of equipment. The system allows you to disable wireless communication. This product does not contain latex. Nice! Like, I really wanted to know if this thing contains latex. Hardware precautions and maintenance. Do not disassemble or try to repair the system components. Only insert or remove game cards when the system is turned off or when the home menu is displayed. Not store the system in a humid place, on the floor, or in any location where it may contact moisture, dirt, dust, lint, or any other foreign material. Uh, yeah, like maybe an import game. Yeah, that's considered foreign material to Nintendo. Thanks for adding region lock. We really love that feature. Uh, do not drop, hit, or otherwise abuse the system. Uh, so, if you were playing, hypothetical situation here, if you were playing, um, if you were playing, like, uh, Sonic, uh, what was it, uh, 3D Blast, and you ha remember, like, to get into that level select, you had to, like, hit the system. If you hit your 3DS to do that, could you, like, tell Nintendo, like, 
hey, this is because of your virtual console game and accessing the menu and stuff. And would that still void your warranty? I'm, I'm really uh, wondering about that. But uh, make sure all connections to the system are made carefully and inserted to the correct plugs. Make sure do not step on sharply pull or bend any other while like extreme heat or cold damage to avoid dusters of touchscreen. Do not use excessive pressure when touching amiibo figures. Minimize the risk of damage. Uh, do not attempt to remove the battery pack unless it needs to be replaced. So it's saying that there is a need for the battery to be replaced. But in the new 2DS XL, you gotta buy a whole new system to replace the battery. Great marketing decision, Nintendo. I, 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 I mean, you're like three for three here. You're like, uh, you got the, you got the issue with, um, with the region lock for material. You got the battery pack issue. You've got the thing with your eyes and the 3D, like, and, and the thing with, uh, the medical devices and the online. Uh, you're three for three, Nintendo. Really, you're you're more like four for four. Uh, once I uh, get my webcam, uh, you're like four for four, Nintendo. Seriously, like four for four. So, um, focus, focus, uh, focusing. So, um, <clears throat> enough with uh, health and safety. Please, Nintendo. Please, the new Nintendo 2DS XL does not have a removable battery. Please contact Nintendo customer service for questions about your battery. Uh, yeah, this is like me ranting about the, um... This is like... Do not use the stylus if it is broken. What would happen if you use a broken stylus? I mean, it might damage the screen, but like... Uh, can you even touch screen on 3D screen? Water only. Okay, so you know how to you know how to do it. So uh, you, <laughs> we we spent like 12 minutes just reading up on the thing and ranting about how the, the new 2DS XL's battery and foreign material in the cartridge slot. Let's actually get to using some software like, uh, how about Nintendo Zone? Or not? <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, Nintendo Zone was kind of like those little kiosks for the DS where you could, uh, <coughs> where you could, oh, uh, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Uh, where they could, um, where you could, like, download demos or, like, extra content for your games. I believe this was the only official way to get, like, Geist, because it was unreleased, but, like, without, like, a ROM uh, card, you could, like, get it from the DS download demo. Alright, so, uh, here's Download Play. Um, I was just talking about you, Download Play. Uh, let me turn the 3D off, because it's cause, uh, almost, it's kind of, like, starting to hurt my eyes right now. So, uh, Download Play, um... It's download play, what do you expect? So, um, YouTube, uh, is not available now. And how ironically, it says, now available on Nintendo 3DS, but it's not available. <laughs> how funny. So, uh, here's system settings. Uh, it's getting a lot choppier, the video feed. So, here's system settings. Uh, eShop, uh, Activity Log. We will actually check out Activity Log. And by the way, if I, like, turn the 3D on, there's actually, like, some neat, like, 3D things you can do. Let me turn the 3D on. This is actually real. Oh, by the way, for some reason, I'm Quater 27. This is a, uh, used 3DS. Oh, and I have it set back to 2011 because I was, um... I was, uh, I was doing hacking on my 3DS and whatever, but, um, 3DS camera, WarioWare Gold, oh, this was when I was playing WarioWare Gold. Well, this must have been uh, quite a while back when I was, uh, 
Do tell us if it has a software library. Look at all these titles. Apparently I have Pokemon Moon. I do not have Pokemon Moon. Uh, I also do not have, uh, oh wait, this is from when I was hacking it. Friend list, uh, this is my DS game. Uh, Spirit Track. Uh, okay, I, I have all these, I just don't have Moon. Like I said, this is a uh, used 3DS, so some stuff's on it. By the way, if you want to see the pre-installed game, Face Raiders, uh, I already did a video on it, a Sammy's Choice video. It's in here, Face Raiders. But let's check out AR games, because I didn't do that in this episode, uh, that video. And um, I'm going to turn off the 3D for now, because it's the six AR cards above are included with the system. Well, they weren't included with my system. Let's get out your question mark AR card. Place it on a flat surface. Place in a well-lit area. AR cards are difficult to read in the dark. To move around your card. See, there's me. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's me. Even though you can already see me in the webcam, this is this is me. Hey, look at me. I am the question mark AR card. Look at the touch screen. No, thank you. Oh, wait, I gotta press A. Is it bright enough? card visible okay so we can't do AR games sadly but to make up for that we have uh, to finish this off we have a uh, the 3ds uh, we'll check out the eShop and then we'll do probably uh, either sound or camera uh, we'll pro wait we'll probably do a uh, eShop and then the me maker and then uh, the a really quick view of the 3ds sound app because I have some pretty cool stuff on there. Uh, we'll check out... Wait, no, no, I didn't want to go to System Settings. I wanted to go to uh, eShop. For some reason, there's like a ton of marks on my touch screen whenever there's nothing on it. Hello? Hmm? It's not showing up. Nothing's showing up. One second, people. One second, I gotta, I gotta fix this. I'll put, I'll put you in full screen so you guys can, you guys can enjoy my big face while I fix this. There we go. Uh, so, like I said, I have a hacked 3DS, so I have all these programs which let me uh, do stuff like cheating in games, uh, I can download game, uh, like demos for games or stuff, I can download new 3DS themes, uh, I can act I'm actually using this one right here, which is a NTR, uh, boot NTR selector to uh, stream to the computer, um, the Mac right now, so you guys can see it. Uh, but right now we're going to check out the 3DS's eShop, because why not? I believe this should work with the eShop. Uh, you can't use, like, uh, online software with it, but, um, oh, and here's a classic example. It, it is getting a bit laggy right now. Somebody with a pacemaker. <gasps> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The Nintendo Wii Shop is just too powerful. Ah, get it off me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but, well, let's browse the eShop here. Let's check a look at, um... Let's take a look at some new releases. Let's see what Nintendo's got up their sleeve for uh, 3DS. Oh, hey, they got Atlantis 6. Snake 3D... Uh, Mace Breaker 4, Bricks Defender. There are, like, so many, like, new releases on the 3DS, apparently. But they're, like, indie games. Word Her, Dungeon Runner, Jack and Jane, Jungle Escape, Mace Breaker, 
Sh oh, there's a Shovel Knight update. Oh, I, I really want to check out the uh, Shovel Knight game. Miles and Kylo, Quarters, Please, Volume 2, Pink Onslaught, Pinbreaker 7, Small World Z. They're, like, like well, like, three years after the Switch launch, there are still new 3DS games coming out, apparently. Uh, let's check out, um... Games with DLC, demos, free to start, ink games, 3D games. Virtual console, only on new 3DS. Featured on Nintendo Switch. Hey! We can play our Switch games on 3DS! With a Captain Doe Treasure Tracker demo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, newest videos. Oh, let's see what Nintendo's got up their sleeve for future releases. Nothing, but there is a Nintendo Direct. I may check out look at that later, but, uh, no. Oh, we got Amiibo. We can download Amiibo to our 3DS system. That makes... Just a few more minutes, got it. Makes, uh, zero sense. So, uh, looks like we're gonna wrap this up, because it's getting kind of long, so... I'm just gonna take a quick... I'm coming, sorry. We're gonna take, like, a quick, uh, tour of the Me channel. Listen to that music. So much better than the uh, Wii music. It gives off a more like handheld vibe. Oh, uh, there's a uh, Crater 27. Let's wake him up. Let's create a me real quick. We can create from a photo. Male, skin tone, eye color. I don't care about this. Can it not like track mine? Top of head chin. Oh. All right, what me is it gonna create? I'm able to detect a face. That's what it always does with me. It's me! It's creating me! <laughs> That's so cursed! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it looks like the original. We're gonna call this one, um, Cursed. We're gonna save this thing. All right. And uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, smack the like button and uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a brand new Troy's Movies video. Uh, if you guys didn't see the last video in this uh, series that I did where I checked out the Wii in 2020, make sure to check it out. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!